Alright, so we're in the werewolf den. Seems like a pretty small map here. I have to look at my skill tree next time we level up and see. I just want to expand it all the way. Just kind of quickly gaze over everything and see if there's any kind of teleport. Because I want to start working towards that if my class has that. ton of werewolves in here. Whoa! You were uh, in trouble there? Yep. <laughs> we should have played hardcore. <laughs> we should we should check all these little uh, bits as well look because you find that there's chests all over the place here look. How old is Fat Rabbit? Sorry, go ahead, yeah. Did you get that chest content? I did. It was just some gold here, yeah. Oh, we Is got this uh, the boss? We got the boss. Oh, Rabbit's 33, okay, yeah, he's three years older than I am. 33? Youngster. <laughs> Gotta run here. Wow, this boss is no joke, huh? He is, uh, respawning enemies, yeah. There, there he is, okay. You look like you were starting to take some big damage at the end. I was, yeah. Oh, by the way, everybody that's here, uh, this upcoming Wednesday, whatever date that is, I don't know, uh, but Wednesday, I will be around all day, streaming all day, Sedek and I, so I'm off from work that day, so if you guys want to stop by, what the hell, summoner sigil, get outside of that uh, sigil, um, guys, some, en some enemies will drop those sigils upon death, and they usually have, like, debuffs while you're inside. Feel free to stop by guys on uh, Wednesday if you want. We need to destroy this thing. <laughs> I'm trying but I'm not I don't have like many ranged attacks that don't kill me. <laughs> oh there we go wait a minute that thing. Right that's the first one we need to destroy the other four. Okay. Now you can see there's like uh oh wait, let's, let's go back this way. Hmm. You see we got these like floating platforms and stuff. Yeah. And there's like floating rocks. This is what the ink is like. It's kind of like a a weird sort of underworld where oh, okay. the real world has kind of like blended and broken with the ink, which is like the this the crap. Creation, the, the material of creation for this uh, lore. Oh. Yeah, this ray of frost is kind of like the Diablo one. It doesn't pierce. That's that one down. Nice. You're having a problem pre ordering Fallout 4. Uh, I don't know if anybody else is having a problem. I did not order pre order Fallout 4. So I don't know. I can't help you, unfortunately. Oh, my Katarina has. What does she have? Why does she have a pause here? Oh, she's got a skill point. I don't want to use it though yet. Okay. You alright there? Yep. Okay. Alright, two down, three to go. Yeah, I would call the bank and make sure everything's okay with um, your account if that's giving you a problem. <laughs> you don't want that on your hands, that kind of a problem. 
crazy rock. The werewolf then. Do it. Boom. That damage. Oh my god, that damage. Wow, we really took that out. That's quick. <laughs> we did make short work of that. Yeah. Alright, nothing else up here. You're gonna be derping around for a bit, setting up something for me. What the heck are you setting up for me? <laughs> I don't even want to know, Conray. What's he up to? <laughs> I don't know. He said he's gonna be derping around for a bit because he's setting something up for me. Yeah, so my the slot that your cape goes in is on me. It's this um, it almost looks like a metallic looking thing that it's almost like a, a an extra spine or something. It's like on the end of my hood. You see it? It's like uh, golden. I did I did see something dangling off your. Uh, it's like a dangling thing on earlier. Yeah. Almost yeah. like a spine on my character. Yeah. Do you run out of mana a lot? No, actually. Uh, I am absolutely. <laughs> I don't ever use mana. Nothing uses mana. The only thing that oh, okay. uses anything is my health. <laughs> that channeling spell for my health. But no, I have no no use for mana right now. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you'll have some other skills later. Right. Okay, we've got one left. Got one hurry up. I think we have to fight the guy again. I can't remember. That's a pretty cool lightning skill you have when you do that. It is. It's pretty. If I remember correctly, it's pretty powerful in the early stages, but later on, it's later on, it's yeah. It's still good, but I think there are other skills that are better. All right, last one. Yep. So, what does that purple swirly thing do? It's just an AOE attack. It just does damage during the duration that it swirls. It does have some other debuffs and stuff too. I'll I'll tell you in a second. As soon as we get rid of this. Yeah. Oh, yep, he's back. That was a. Whoa. Mana potion. Yeah, I am chugging mana potions like they're going out of fashion. Oh my God! This damage. I'm gonna die. That's alright, I'm doing damage. Yeah, he's, ah! not, he's not interested in me at all. <laughs> I need a health potion. Yes. So health potions just auto-regenerate over time? Or no? Oh! Die! There he goes, I killed him with my channeling spell. Stop it, Hunter, you're fighting the wrong enemy. You are fighting the wrong enemy. Really, you almost ripped out my heart. I was defending my pack. Instincts. You know how it goes. And your prisoner? We tried to save him. He was injured, so we took him in. Saved him? From who? The machine men from the city. They hunt us down. Do he becomes a Take good ally later, so we should let him live. Okay. I appreciate that. I'll leave you in peace. Town portal. You can return to the town by clicking this icon. You can teleport back to the ink gate in town. Alright, let's grab this loot. Oh, I got it. Wow, look at all the yellows. Creep stalker hood, heavy gloves, shadow conjure, whatever, and gold. My word, that was an incredible rescue hunter. And an entirely pointless one, so it seems. Don't say that. Good deeds are never pointless. Which means that you'll answer my questions, right? Certainly. But I must return to the village immediately. See you there. See you there. Okay. And we got a question mark around the other side here. Um, let me check these items I just got. Uh, let's see. 
way better gloves. He had two two percent magic fine, poison resistance, and better defense. Okay. What's this? Um. Uh. All right, less DPS than my dagger, but more HP and more protection. Also gives me ice damage, corporeal presence, and many enemy kill. Now I like the daggers I have. And what was the other one? Oh, the hood, the creep stalker hood. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's put that hood on. So you see on the back of me that spine kind of thing that hangs down. That's yes. my equivalent of your cape. Hmm. I got a packet of essence. Okay. Yeah, we can only add essences to items with the help of an artisan. Oh, okay. So it's not like sockets, they actually have to add it in. Yeah, yeah, they, they actually have to sort of like craft the item. You can also remove essences from items as well, so it's not a... Not like a waste. So you can put your most valuable essences into items, and then uh, not worrying about. Oh, oh refused by Jusky. Wait, what happened? It looked like you clicked the uh, portal, but then uh, maybe clicked something else. Huh. Let's try that again. Can we not? Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Oh, there we go. There we go. What refused? Why does it say I'm refusing it? I pressed uh, the green check mark. Right, just leave it. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Yeah, I think if you're okay with it, then you just leave it. And if you're not, then you just have to click. Oh, I gotcha. I'm I'm guessing that anyway, I'm not sure. Right, we got a side quest here. Talk to the alchemist. I'm still loading, hold on. Yeah, I'm still loading too, but uh, I grabbed that just as a... Alright, All right, back to Crookwood. Cool. If you press the M key... Oh, it looks like the oh, guy the is back yeah. in town. So, we should probably just go back to town. Go back to town? Okay, we got it. Town portal! Yep, looks like we both go at the same time. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. First, first batch of yes, quests uh, done. What's the name? Yeah. Awesome. Um, super code break. I play Mortal Kombat. Yes. All right. All right. Looks like the question mark is here. I actually have a few Mortal Kombat videos on my YouTube if you want to check them out. <laughs> yeah, here he is. Oh, it's the Hunter again. I'm glad to see you. Before you run away again, please tell me how to get to Borgova. If you want to reach Borgova, you must travel through the old mines to the other side of the mountain. I sense another butt coming up. But you have to use the ancient ink gate in the swamps. It opens into the tunnels. It's not easy to find your way around here. Okay, new quest. Alright, he's got a side quest too. Oh, nice, he does, yeah. More rage. We are plagued by the Rusalkus. These evil nymphs have returned to the woods, and they are constantly attacking the village. What if this time, someone attacked back? Let me guess, you were referring to me, right? Would you do that? I am Van Helsing, I'll help you. I am Van Helsing, <laughs> I'll help you. Yeah, I think it's whoever initiates the dialogue has control. Has control, uh, yeah. Hmm. It's right. not that I don't like Fallout Code Break, it's like, it's just that I don't, it I haven't ever played it. Yeah. yeah. I'm exactly the same, I'm, yeah, I'm not interested in the franchise. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're being. I can't do that. What? Yeah, it's not that I I don't like it. I just never have played it, honestly, and I don't have an interest in starting it up. Right. See, we got like a 
like a scenario here. The oh, Katarina only. Hold on a second. I got a Katarina only item. Nice. That was better for her. Right. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Right. We're, we're, we're in the village. It's night time. We've got to clear the uh, the monster groups here. Okay. So we're basically just got to sweep the village. You got it. Sweep away. We're sulkers. That's hey, you got a, a tornado now? As well, so, uh, Is that yours? That's not me. Oh, uh, wasn't me. It might be a special item that you have. I thought you had Wicked Wind. <laughs> uh, Alright, hold on. Uh, ooh, come down minus 16%. Nice, I'll have that. I actually have, hold on. You know what? Can you wait one second? Sure. I want to see if I have a teleport anywhere. Strike the target three times because I leveled up and normal melee attack you throw a knife. Instead of a normal melee attack you throw a knife. That's cool. Uh, ring in the circle. No. Simultaneously attack. No. Melee attack. No. <laughs> ah, Viper Stab. You blink forward up to five meters with blinding speed and strike a single target. Any like shadow marks on the target? It, yeah, it's kind of like Monk's Dashing Strike. Yep. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking, uh, uh, pretty much every class has either a blink or a teleport skill. See, that's what I... Hold on, let's see. See if I actually have any other kind of... Teleport. An ink jump to the designated location. Yes, this is it. Hey. Here's the teleport. Portal Obscura. Okay. So I actually yeah. want that and the jump. I, I want that and I want the um. God, I can't get to that yet. Do you have access to the teleport skill now? Or Not yet. That's what I'm saying. I don't have access to it yet. I said, um, just have a look at the uh, tree and everything. Minimum base. level required 20. Holy yep. crap. Okay, what's well, my level now? Um, the, level, seven. the level goes all the way up to 80. and Actually, 100, right? It's well, 100. it's it's 80 by default, but it goes up to 100 with, like, extra effects, and then there's, like, a further leveling uh, mechanic after yeah. that called Glory. In addition to your perks, in addition to the fate, there's, like, Minimum level requires so 20. much end game wow, stuff. There's a, okay, yeah. Alright. They may have changed it to just be 100 straight off the bat, I'm not sure. But yeah, level 20 is like nothing. We'll, we'll, we'll probably be level 20 before we even finish the first uh, chapter. Yeah. Alright, let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Alright, let's... That's good, out. I'm so glad I have a teleport skill. It makes me like the class even more. <laughs> My Katarina just leveled. Nice. Oh, elite pack. Elite pack, yeah. Let's try this skill. Whoa, did I just do all that damage? I did a skill and all of a sudden they were almost dead. You release a shockwave of dark energy when entering your cloaked form. The shockwave does physical damage in a three meter radius. Maybe I did. It's like an AoE, yeah. I have an AoE now, yeah. Okay, that was a skill I just learned when I leveled up just now, so yeah, cool. Okay. Here we go again. That skill I just did is on cooldown now, that one unfortunately. <laughs> Nice. Oh, another harpy feather. It's a trophy type thing. Scarecrow hat. A scarecrow hat. Yeah, it's like a trophy for my character. Oh, okay. We're going this way, that way. Yeah. Which is weird for a mage, but. All right, uh, super code break. Thanks so much for stopping by. Um, you know, come back when you want to. When you get tired of Call of Duty because it sucks, come on back here to the real stream. <laughs> Don't play Call of Duty. I got two amber pendants. Oh wow, I just picked up two uh, Katarina items. We'll do this last uh, objective and then I'll actually put them on one her second, now. One second, one second. Let me put this pendant on Katarina. Okay. If you get Katarina items, if you hold down the alt key whilst hovering over it, you can compare it to what she's wearing right now. Oh, compare with Katarina. Okay, got it. Yup. Thank you. 
Oh wow, I just got a, something that's massively upgraded for her. Holy crap. Cool. Oh nice, her DPS just went from 11 to 24. Nice, what's my Katarina's DPS? One second. Yeah, you've got two DPS, one is melee, one is ranged. Press the her, O. Yeah, her, her, um... Melee is 15.4, her range is 14.8. Okay, yeah. If, if your inventory gets full, if you hold her, shift right? key, yeah. if you hold shift key and, and right click, you can quickly transfer items to her. That ball lightning skill I have is really good. Alright, I think that's the whole village. Now we just need to go back and uh, speak to whoever. There's a blacksmith here in a day, where I am. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, he might be able to help us with essences, I'm not sure. Alright, here we go. You did it. <coughs> you banished the Rusalkas for good. We banished the Rusalkas. But you'll be safe for a while. Alright. Back to the daylight. 1000 XP. Nice. Some gold, some XP. Right. I got a lot of stuff to sell. <laughs> Sedic Van Helsing. <laughs> Jusky Van Helsing. <laughs> we, we have four new alternate quests here. Awesome. Yeah, look at Team all this. The, and we've got Let's one get here. Them all. Oh, this is the essence guy. Reasons. I need to know what happened in I, I think so. Science happened. Which means that there are experiments where you create a monster. And Borgova is a monster now. Okay, we just got rewarded. Well in the village where the ink seeps out into this world. An ink type snatched away a bag of That was the well we saw right at the start of the game. Okay, yeah, yeah. Help you with that. If you could climb down into the well and risk your life by looking for my belongings, I'd be very grateful. We should do that. I had a feeling you'd say that. Always accept that sort of stuff. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, I'll never turn down a quest. Also, uh, just before we go anyway, I don't know if you closed that uh, quest completed window already. I did. Right. Sometimes uh, the side quests don't just give you XP and gold. They'll actually award you like bonus ability and skill points on top of what you would normally receive just by leveling up. Oh, okay. See, see that that uh, we removed the curse from the village alchemist, the one where they took his voice away, yeah, and yeah. we actually got a bonus ability point. Oh, nice. So okay. uh, if you if you press C, you'll see you'll have a an extra stat point to distribute. Yep. Alright, level 7, nice. Let's pick up all these exclamation marks. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna... Oh yeah, we've got the blacksmith over here, he's one of them. I've heard you're heading to the gallows, Bob. Do you know that the machine men have a camp there? No, I didn't. Well, Thank you for telling me. On the <laughs> Let me guess. You want me to let the werewolves free? <laughs> Guys on the stream, how does the dialogue sound now as far as volume? These people talking. Can you hear them that well or no? I will pay you generously. Fine. I always wanted to know what's inside those things. Okay, new quest. All right, let's click on this guy again. You look like a capable man, stranger. If you want to try your hand at crafting a weapon, you can use my tools for just 100 gold. Sure. Why not? Good idea. Here's your 100 gold. So this is going to be a little well, crafting stranger, tutorial, I guess, now? Oh, no, okay. Cut out for this. That sword looks dreadful. I'll dispose of it for you if you wish. It'll only cost you one gold. Mm. No, we'll keep that. Keep it, yeah, keep it. No, I'll keep it. For sentimental it's reasons. it's terrible, <laughs> but, but but it's like one of those unique items. Where is it? I don't even have it. It's in quest. Oh, it's in a quest it's item. Okay, yeah, yeah. This weapon blade. might seem ugly and clumsy, but it's still the memento of your first attempt to forge a proper sword. <laughs> okay. Does it is it it's ever used for anything else? It 
it's just a funny little extra, but there, I don't know if that particular item is used for anything, but there are a lot of things I've that... that you are heading for oh, the gallows bark. Tread carefully on the old battlefield. It's still haunted by some of those lurking, rusty hunter machines. Did you know that the mayor put a blood price on those things? Blood price? Does that mean that we'll get paid for this for once? Thank you for the advice. Rest assured, I'd destroy these machines even for free. And hopefully my companion didn't hear that. <laughs> okay. But yeah, there are those quest items are um, sometimes used later on. For oh, okay. We are doomed. The shackles of terror bind my people to the pits of despair. Even the faithful. This guy's voice. I know. <laughs> the pits of despair. I need your help to restore their faith. I must keep my flock together. Oh my God! You lost me at the shackles of terror. So do you want me to preach to the villagers? Heavens no. The last Heaven, thing I no. need is my people grabbing forks and following you on one of your expeditions. <laughs> Admit it, Van Helsing. Your speaking skills are way too uncomplicated for this. <laughs> Still, there is something you could do. I used to possess a powerful relic that could stir up the flames of belief in my people. It's a gem blessed by our patron <laughs> saint. It was stolen from me, and I've never been able to recover it. Now you're speaking my language. Where can I find this gem? Go to the Gallows Bog and find this. You have to go there anyway. Dark yeah. It's one of them opens into the ink. You have to jump into that hole, and it will lead you straight to the relic. Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. God. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. we got another one down here. Hold on. We'll grab that last uh, exclamation mark and then Holy we'll come crap, back to this alchemy guy. So I many. You're going to the gallows bog where the first fighting machines from Borgava are still rusting away in the mud. I'd pay good money for any unexploded bombs you could find. Unexploded sure. bombs. Okay. I'll look around. Right. Another merchant. Welcome back, stranger. Have you managed to find anything for me? I'm still looking. Hmm. This is actually really good. How much is this, though? Uh, oh, wow. 6,696. I have 14.2k gold, but I don't know if I should use it. Is it is a good idea to buy stuff every now and again. You can get some really viable upgrades. Yeah. I mean, for example, my boots are still white, so I'm going to buy some... Yeah. My chest plate is white still. It's the only white piece I have on me still. But he doesn't have a chest plate. My gloves and boots are still white. This, um... Huh. This dread scale harness looks really good. I might spend 6,000. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this. It was worth it. So now I can break things down, right? Somewhere. Uh, I think the blacksmith might be able to break stuff down for us. Blacksmith? Okay. Let's see. Okay, we got. Come, come to where I am. Oh. This is the. Uh, this is the guy that puts uh, essences into items for us. Okay. So if you've got any well, items with essence capacity. Not yet. Please be patient. Essence capacity 10. Essence capacity 24. Essence capacity 10. Essence capacity 10. The third tab, you can combine different types of essence. They don't have to be the same type. And they'll create... Uh, you can either enhance uh, an essence to make it more powerful, or you can... Com Combine two different types of essence in the last tab okay. to make something completely new. Oh, okay. There's a, there's loads of different essence types, and sometimes you can get some uh, rare and unusual types by combining stuff. 
but at this early part of the game it's probably a good idea just to uh, fuse just use what you've got yeah but when you put stuff when you put essences into your items when that item becomes obsolete you want to take the essences out so that you can is the the cape slot and for me the uh, dread scale harness the, the harness slot is that an accessory or armor It's armor, I think, right? Because uh, it does have defense on it. I'm pretty sure the cape doesn't count as armor, actually. But my, does your cape have defense on it? It does have defense, but I'm pretty sure it's not... Because uh, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't say whether it's armor or whether... Oh, light I, armor, rare belt. I, I remember it did say somewhere. Because I don't want to fuse this into this if it's going to give me the accessory effect. I want the armor effect. Stupid Windows. Windows just tabbed me out and said there was an update. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't know whether this is an armor or if it's... Um... You can... Um... Well, you know what? I'll just keep... I'll well, hang my on. Belt. Hang belt on. Is armor. Hang on. You can right-click the item to put it in the top slot. Right-click right. an essence and then you can hover over. Oh, and it'll tell me. And then it will tell you. Oh, okay. Yep, it is an armor. And then if you want, if you ha if you're happy with that, yep. then you just click insert. It is an armor. Nice. So it, it's pretty cheap, but I mean, for oh, that's, yeah, it's like 14 gold for me to yeah, just do that. It's just 15 thing. gold. Yeah. Now, in uh, plugging in like epic or unique essences will cost more, so beware of that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I remember in Van Helsing 2 Endgame, uh, slotting some essences cost like hundreds of thousands. Oh wow, really? But this is when I was had had been so. If there is a particular essence effect you like, you can combine it uh, or enhance it with a particular essence that you're not interested in to make that essence more powerful. Okay. There is quite a lot of depth to this, actually, so it is worth it to, uh... Plus 30 HP. Yes, I will take that. Five percent gold find. Oh, I don't really care about that. Seven mana. Okay, cool. I'm good. So yeah, this is Van Helsing's version of socketing. Yeah. Instead of gems, you've got all these weird essences that have... Is everybody in the, uh, the chat still? Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> uh, there's a few people around. Seven, eight people. Okay. No one's been saying... Whoa! Weird. That is really this loud. Is Hold on. Bit of feedback audio there. No, I know. I loaded it up on my phone to see if, because nobody was saying anything in the chat room. So, okay. Right. I'm here just derping. Yep. I'm still okay. People are still here. Cool. All right. We got we got loads of ejectors on the. Yes, way. we do. All Sorry. right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let's do it. Oh, we got the ink the well here. That the ink well. <laughs> oh yeah. 